Now you guys might have noticed that most of the influencers here on YouTube typically recommend shared hosting or budget hosting. And the main reason for this is because we want to accommodate users who are typically building their website for the very first time. But what about people who have larger websites like myself where you're getting a lot more traffic or large scalable e-commerce websites? Typically shared hosting won't do. I want to revisit a video that we tested out various web hosting companies. And while I do agree with my list, this really won't be practical for everyone. Some of us have large traffic websites or large e-commerce websites where we have a lot of transactions going on. So we need to make sure that we have strong hosting. I myself, I get about five transactions on my website every single minute. So I need to make sure I have a pretty solid web host, right? So in this video, I'm going to revisit five of the best web hosting companies that are suitable for large traffic websites or large e-commerce websites. Also, we have links for these web hosting companies in the description below of this video. If you guys do want to go ahead and check those out, I would appreciate it if you guys use your links. If not, uh, that's okay. Also, we actually do use one of these hosting companies for my website, DerWilson.com, and I'll show you guys which one in this video. First up is Pressable. Now, Pressable is actually backed by Automatic themselves. So the people who actually own WordPress also own this website here. Now, when we use Pressable, we found that everything loaded on the back end really fast. We didn't get any fatal errors. All the plugins worked really quickly and everything was pretty snappy, almost as if we were working on a local server. So let me show you guys the results that we had with Pressable. Next up, Pressable. Pressable is a new company to the list and it really did not disappoint. Pressable had an exceptional six month uptime of 99.99% with only a mere 10 minutes of downtime. They also had an average load time of 1.08 seconds, and this is just on their personal plan. Despite having automatic updates and really strong security measures, you need to invest at least $25 a month to get started. However, with these results, I would give Pressable a solid A plus for its outstanding uptime, speed, and WordPress centric features. So let's go over here to pricing and I'll scroll down. Now, what's really cool with Pressable is they do have a few plans, right? But you guys can actually custom create your own plan depending on what you guys need. Now, personally, I think the high traffic plan is one of the best ones. I mean, you guys get a 64 core CPU, um, but the only downside is that it's only for one WordPress install. So use this like on your main website, right? That would be a solid plan that I would probably go with. But if you scroll down right here, you guys can see that, uh, let me close this little annoying notice. Uh, you guys can actually pick the number of WordPress installations. You can pick the number of visits and also the amount of storage as well. So depending on how large your website is, you guys can go ahead and pick something to accommodate your websites. Or if you guys just want one really fast website that is guaranteed to be fast, I would definitely go with the high traffic plan. You guys do get a lot of good tech with this plan right here. So when I first used Pressable guys, I was not a believer. I actually didn't like it. They don't even have an affiliate program at the time promoting them, but they actually just rolled one out. So yeah, you know, if you guys use my link, I get a commission. But if you guys don't, no worry. Uh, Pressable is definitely suitable for large scale web websites. Next up is 10 web. Now, before I talk about these guys, I actually do have kind of a vice with this company. There's things I don't like about this company, but bias aside, we have to talk about performance and I'll talk about that later, right? So let's take a look at their speed result tests. Next up, 10 web. 10 web had a buy annual uptime of 99.98% with 60 minutes of downtime. 10 web had an average load time of 921 MS, which is under one second. However, 10Web is more geared for higher end clients and not really suitable for beginners with their packages starting at just $10 for only one website. We use their AI term business plan. I would give 10Web a solid A minus. The server stats are good, just not the price. Now, when we use 10Web for our plan, everything also loaded really fast and we had no problems and all the plugins work really quickly. You can always tell if a web host is good by how the plugins react to the web host because that's what the plugins are reliant on. So let's go over here to pricing and take a look at their pricing. Now for our speed test, I do believe that we use either the AI starter or the AI premium. I think we use the AI premium for our speed result test, right? But if you guys are using this for your primary website or a serious e-commerce website, I would definitely go with agency guides. It's really worth it. So personally, I think agency premium is probably one of the best options. You guys can host up to 10 websites and you guys get tons of space. You guys get, um, you know, 100,000 monthly visits. If you guys do need more, you guys can always contact them. But if you're a web agency and you do want a fast website, that's not like, you know, $100 plus, you guys can definitely go with 10 web right here. I think agency premium is the best option. Now they also do have a lot of really cool plugins. They have one right here that actually give your score a 90 plus page speed score. 
Um, this was a standalone plugin, and they actually make you upgrade, but I do believe if you get their hosting, you get the pro version for free, and it's actually a pretty solid plugin. So now the only advice I have against this company is the company contacted me a few years ago asking me to promote them on YouTube. I said, sure. And this company poses themselves as an American company. If you go to their websites, and if you scroll to the bottom of the website, they have an American address. If you go to their LinkedIn page, they also put that they are based in America as well. If you go to their Facebook page, they also say that they have, um, that they're an American brand, and they even have these American actors here. Let's take a look at this, huh? Ugh, cringe. All right. Anyway, so yeah, this is their Facebook page where they also say they are, are an American company. And also on their own websites, they say that they are an American company. This company is not an American company, and this is a small PO box. This company is actually located all the way in Armenia. So this is an Armenian based company with Armenian employees, and they are primarily based in Armenia. If you guys go to their glass door, you'll see most of the people say, oh, this is the best Armenian company ever. Uh, if you scroll down, they're like, oh, this is great. The Armenian culture, this and that. I personally didn't really care uh, where they're from, to be honest. I work with companies all over the world, but I just don't like it when they lie to my face and tell me that they're an American company, but they're not. So for that reason and that reason only, I had some sort of vice against them. But besides that, you know, their web hosting is pretty fast. So if you guys do want to check this company out, they are still a very fast web hosting company. Next up, we have WPX Hosting. Now this company over the last three years has always performed very fast. Out of all the companies, this has probably the less variance and has consistently been a blazing fast web hosting company. Let's take a look at the results. WPX Hosting. WPX Hosting had a great annual uptime of 99.99% with only 22 minutes of downtime. They also had an average load time of 1.93 seconds on their business plan. Although their load time is slightly higher compared to some of its competitors, the overall package of services definitely makes them stand out. I would give WPX a solid A. They've always been a solid web host. On all my tests, they've always performed well, no matter what the situation. So for that specific test, we use the WordPress plan over here. And I believe we just use the business one right here, but I personally think the best option is probably the professional. You guys do get pretty good specs. It's decently priced. They also have free malware removal. And that is one big pro that a lot of companies don't have because it's a total pain in the butt to get rid of malware, right? So this plan right here, I think is pretty solid. You guys will pay $41 a month. You guys get access to 15 websites, 30 gigs of storage, eh, that's still pretty good. You guys get 400 gigs of bandwidth, one gig RAM per site, Two, two core CPU, not as good as pressable, but still regardless, their performance is really good. So we actually use the business one for our test, but I personally would go with the professional if you guys are hosting this on a large scalable website. Next up, we have Cloudways. Man, these guys are fast, probably the fastest on this entire list. But first, before I talk about them, let's show you guys the speed result test. Lastly, Cloudways Vulture. Cloudways hosting on Vulture achieves an annual uptime of 99.99% with an hour of downtime. The average load time was 1.63 seconds. Vulture is recognized for its versatile cloud hosting solutions that cater to pretty much any type of audience. I would give Cloudways Vulture a solid A+. Cloudways Vulture has always been a reliable and scalable cloud hosting service. Now, the only pain with Cloudways is that you guys will have to migrate your website over to Cloudways as they don't sell domains. So if you guys do have a website hosted, you can migrate over to Cloudways. Now, Cloudways has various services, right? So it's not just one host. They basically are a, a host for multiple other top scalable hosts like Amazon AWS, Linode, Google Cloud, and Vulture. Out of all these companies right here, we tested out all of them on our speed result test and Vulture hands down is the fastest. When we use our websites with Vulture, it's like we're working on local host. Everything is like instant, you know, it's super blazing fast. We actually use the high frequency right here. So here you have standard and then you have high frequency. High frequency does make a world of difference. I would definitely go with high frequency. For that specific test that you guys saw, we only use the base plan right here. And even the base plan was really, really fast. If you guys do want to switch over to Cloudways and you are a decent sized website, I would probably go with this plan right here, which is the four gig, two core, 128. 
gig, three terabyte bandwidth, and that's about 60 bucks a month. But it really depends on you. I think this one here has the most value, right? But it just depends on you and your website. If you guys are a website with like 20,000 visits, this will do just fine. If you guys are an e-commerce website with like 50,000 visits, this will also do just fine. If you're a business owner with zero visits, this will do just fine, <laughs> right? So you cannot go wrong with Vulture. Uh, I think personally that these guys were the fastest on the list. However, I will say that their support is kind of crappy, right? So we have used ticket support and we got responses, you know, six to eight hours later. That's not the best thing, but but if you guys do want a fast website, you can knock around with Cloudways. I think I do have a discount for these guys as well. I think I have a 10% discount. I will leave that in the description below if you guys do want to try out Cloudways. And next, we're going to talk about who hosts DarylWilson.com, my personal websites. Well, my company is actually kind of weird, right? They're branded themselves as two different companies. I don't even really know who hosts my company, right? So if you guys go over here to Liquid Web, this company sort of is like a shell now. It recommends plans and it redirects everyone to a website called Nexus. Net. So this is actually the company that actually hosts my website, DarylWilson.com. We use this company for a few years. Uh, we have found that we've had great uptime really fast. And the great part is about this company, they have phone support. Yes, a lot of the companies that I showed you guys do not have phone support. So if your website goes down at 12 at night and you're panicking, you can just give them a phone call and fix your website right away. Now we typically have good results with Nexus, but let me show you guys the results that we had on our web hosting result tests. Next, Liquid Web. Liquid Web achieved an annual uptime of 99.98% with only one hours of downtime, with an average load time of 1.38 seconds. We use the Nexus Spark plan. For this kind of quality and performance, it needs a bit of investment. These plans start at around $21 a month. I would give Liquid Web an A plus for its superior speed and reliability. This is a solid choice for businesses who need top tier managed hosting. Okay, now if you guys are gonna want to know which plan I'm using, I'll go ahead and show you guys. Now the thing is with Nexus guys, their plans change all the time and they constantly change the name of their plans and they keep moving stuff around their website. So it's really hard to keep these videos updated. My bad, you know, I'm sorry guys, I'm just the middleman, right? Uh, over here, I'll click on fully managed hosting. Here I'll click on plans and pricing. And I am using the designer plan. Now what really sucks is I'm paying $100 a month for the designer plan. You know, that's how much I pay, but it looks like right here it's on sale. So this plan right here hosts my website. You guys do get a lot of storage and bandwidth with Nexus, probably more than any other company. So you guys do get 60 gigs of storage, four gigs of bandwidth, and you guys do get uh, PHP workers per website. Uh, I think this plan right here is suitable for anyone with like 50,000 visits or less. If you guys want to push the limits and get really, really fast, uh, you guys can knock around with the builder for just a little bit more. You guys can almost double your uh, storage size and double your performance, right? Almost double, 50% more, right? So I think Nexus probably has some of the best plans for web hosting. Um, my website has had no issues. And if you guys go to my website, you guys can be the better judge. You know, just go explore my websites, see if it's fast, see if it loads fast for you. Um, you know, we do have a lot going on on my website. We have more than uh, almost 400 products that are sold on my websites and we have tons of transactions going on on the back end. So guys, I really hope this video helped you guys out picking a solid web host. I know when you guys watch YouTube videos, we all recommend cheap budget hosting. And I myself don't host with cheap budget hosting, but unfortunately for the average person watching YouTube, we recommend these services guys because they don't need Pressable. You know, they don't need 10 web, you know, they don't need a uh, Cloudways Vulture plan for their basic website, right? Any shared hosting will do fine for like beginner websites. But if you guys are an agency or a large scale website, I promise you guys, you cannot go wrong with these five companies. They're very fast, we've tested them. I personally use them as well, so I'm not just some BSer on YouTube where I'm like, oh, go buy this, go buy this. No, man, we have tested every single company for a year. We spent a lot of money doing it, so I hope this video brought a lot of value for you guys. If you guys have any questions about any of these web hosting companies, let me know in the comments, guys. I have a lot of experience with these guys, so I can really give you guys solid advice when it comes to web hosting. My name is Daryl Wilson. I will see you party people, and the next video guys take care